just begin by giving us an outline of your presentation here, what you've been saying. Well, my presentation uh, revolved around an innovative funding model for a, a terminal project. It's, uh, we're doing a $45 million terminal expansion and, and renovation. We're creating a consolidated checkpoint. And, uh, and going into the project, the airport didn't have enough money uh, to fund it, so we decided to uh, really look into private capital to uh, allow us to build this uh, to build this project out. So how does that work? Because I think traditionally you might have gone to Congress or however you might have looked for funding. This is a different way to raise that money. This is a different way, and and uh, really, uh, you know, the the uncertainty or the reliability of funding from a congressional standpoint from the airport improvement program in the U.S. is is uh, just really. Uh, not been a source that you can rely on year after year. And in this case, we decided to take matters into our own hands and go to the community, go to the business community, and, uh, and see if uh, they felt, one, uh, this project was worthwhile, and secondly, if they felt that way, would they be willing to participate in it? And it's, a, it's similar to a situation where you sell a naming rights, uh, naming rights to a corporation that's interested in a major arena. Uh, so we decided to do this on a different type of a scale where we, we actually went out, we uh, approached the business community. Uh, the business community uh, basically said, yes, we, we feel the airport is such a critical element of our overall economic success throughout the region uh, that this is something we're interested in and, and we want to participate uh, with. So we went, uh, we, we used our architect to come up with innovative ideas where we could actually identify um, naming opportunities for businesses uh, throughout our, our terminal and concourse areas. Uh, we, approached, we put a value on them through a detailed corporate uh, analysis and we came back to businesses and said, are you interested in this? And, uh, and the answer has been uh, yes. And so we're in the process of raising $28 million. Uh, we're about a, over a third of the way there. We have $10 million in hand currently. And the project has started, so we're moving forward with the project, and uh, and we're going to have a very nice uh, final project that really, when when individuals fly into the Gerald R. Ford International Airport, they will be able to recognize some of our major corporations that uh, call West Michigan home. Twofold to that, then, is that kind of identity you touched on there, where you're going to be unique in that sense to have those local corporations or brands associated with the airport. I guess that's over a period of time, so in 10 years, the length of time that they may have signed up, there's going to be an opportunity to raise more capital. Absolutely. The, the agreements that we're doing are 10-year agreements, and, and they give us uh, the opportunity uh, to, to go back if the corporations are satisfied with the result and uh, uh, go to the well again and, and use that additional revenue to support uh, future upgrades, future uh, maintenance, or future expansions of our facility. The other thing I'll say is the airlines love this approach. I mean, what we are, as you know, we are in airports are in a very uh, cost competitive environment. We have a mixture of both network and low cost carriers and we have to make sure that as an airport our costs remain competitive. So we, we chose early on that we were not going to do this project and put it into the airline rate base. We were going to try another method allowing us to keep our airline costs in line and thus be able to compete for additional airline service down the road. It's fascinating because of, of the change, there's a, a different way to look at this. So I guess really interesting to bring that experience to this conference and share your, your experiences there. Ab absolutely. I think it's a new approach. Again, uh, there's plenty of examples of naming opportunities outside of airports. We thought, uh, you know, why not use this? Uh, why not use this approach in the airport environment? It, it allows us to control our own destiny from a funding standpoint, it allows us to keep our costs low, from a competitive standpoint, uh, allows us to really partner with uh, our business community and our airlines to, uh, to grow the level of service uh, for our region. And tell me about sharing that message and what you've learned here at the conference. Why was that important for you to come? 
Well, I think it's it's a it's a message. I mean, we see obviously public ownership, we see private ownership of, of airports, and this is an effort to really collaborate and, and kind of create a, somewhat of a hybrid approach uh, to uh, to airport development and uh, collaborate with our business community. And uh, again, it's not uh, real uh, widely known, but I think this conference gives us the opportunity to talk about it so that other airports may take that back and say, this is an interesting approach and something that may work in our community. And what do you think about the conference? The conference is excellent. It's always excellent. There's so many different sessions. Uh, you, you learn uh, both from a, uh, in a, in our case, domestic and international perspective, new ways to do things. Uh, and, uh, and obviously the networking is a key part of that as well.